In this video, we'll be seeing how to set up your environment for PHP development. First of all, for running PHP, you will need Apache installed and we'll be using SAM for this one. And you will get MariaDB and PHP installed. So we'll be using SAM. So you can download the latest version of SAM. We are using this for Windows. So download it for Windows. And you can see the download starts in this window. So you can wait for the download to happen. So you can see the download is completed. Now we can run this one. You can see this warning. So some features may be restricted, etc. So you can ignore that and click on OK. So the setup will start and you can click on next here. Here you can change the path of the installation if you want to. So we are going to keep it inside C drive itself. And you can click on next. You can choose the language if you want to switch. So we are keeping it to English and click on next and click on next and the installation will begin. So now the installation is completed. You can uh, open the control panel. So this option is checked and you can click on finish. So now the SAMP control panel is open. You can see we are having Apache, MySQL, FileZilla and all other things. We'll be starting Apache for PHP and you can also start MySQL simply start this MySQL. So if you see any other pop-ups like the firewall is blocking some features, etc. You can simply allow those because Sam need those permissions to work properly. And also, if you are facing any issue with MySQL, you can run this Sam controller with admin permissions. So one of the things that I will recommend you to do is to go to config here and open PHP in it and inside php.in and you can search for zip. Simply search for zip and you can enable this extension here. Okay, you can hope you can see this one. So we have to remove this semicolon from here. So remove that and save this file. That's it. So you can enable the zip and save this one. And you can close this. You can enable the zip extension and you can restart Apache. So this extension will be useful if you are using Laravel or any other frameworks. So you can enable that right now itself. So in the future, it will be easy for you. So the next thing that you can install is Composer, which is a dependency manager. So this will be useful for adding any external libraries to your project. So you can download this one and have it installed in your system. You can download it from here. Simply click on this link and it will start downloading. After downloading, you can simply run this one. Click on this one. You can install this for all users. So click on this recommended one. So the installation has started. You can click on next. You don't have to worry about all this. Okay, here you can see it is asking you to add the path of your PHP to your environment variable. Okay, this is important. So you have to install and set up your SAM first so that this will be automatically detected or uh, you can add the path later on. So I will recommend you to install SAM first and then install Composer. You can click on next, next and click on install. So composer is installed to your system. You can click on finish. Now we can search for environment variable and open this one. Go to environment variables. And here you have to make sure that you added the path to your PHP and uh, composer properly. So you can come here. You can see I have added the path to PHP and the composer is added properly. So this will happen automatically. So you can make sure that these two are added. So this is very important. This will happen automatically. In case this doesn't happen, you can come here and verify it is added or not. You can come inside your SAMP installation. So it is done inside C in our case. So come inside your SAMP installation and you can find a file PHP. Open this folder and here we can see PHP is available here can see php.exe is available here. So you have to copy this path from here. You can see this is the path to our PHP. You can copy this and you can add that to the path in the environment variable. So in our case, the path is already added here. And you can also see the composer is also added here. So if you don't have these two added to your path, you can add that manually. So you have to make sure that it is added on the system variables path. You can also see there is another path available for user variables. So you have to make sure that it is added properly. So add it to this one and you can click on OK and OK. That's it. 
Now PHP is installed on your system. You can type PHP version here and hit enter. You can see PHP version that is 8.2. We can also check the version for the composer. So you can see composer version 2.7.9 is also installed. You can see the PHP version is also shown here. So you have to make sure that PHP and composer commands are working properly on your system globally. So now that you have PHP and Composer installed properly on your device, you can go and choose your IDE. I would recommend PHP Storm because it will provide a lot of help during PHP development. You can also go with VS Code, which is one of the popular editors. So you can download that as well. So I'll be recommending PHP Storm. It is a paid version, but if you are having a student email ID, you can get it for free. So if you're having a college email ID, you can easily get this for free. So you can use this one and you can also download VS Code. It is totally fine. It is a very good editor. You can install the extensions and it will be very useful. But in the case of PHP Storm, you can simply install it and it will be ready to go. You don't have to worry about any extensions or anything. You can simply install it and that is good to go. I will also introduce you to the Laravel framework. You can also check this one out. It is a very good framework. It is a very popular framework. You can develop all kinds of application using Laravel. So it is a PHP framework. You can learn PHP and after that, you can check this Laravel framework. We are also having courses on Laravel. You can check that in the YouTube or you can also enroll for live classes. So that's all for this video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for more such videos.